Today we're going to decorate a fired piece of clay. Um, so this is called bisqueware. It's been fired one time and it's hard as rock now. Um, so it can still break but it's less fragile than when it was uh, bone dry. And I have two kinds of ways to decorate in here. I've got underglaze and I've got glaze. Um, and this actually will be clear so it will put a nice shiny coat around your piece and this is actually going to just add some color to it um, so we want to start if we want to have some white areas on our piece to add some underglaze and it will dry pretty quickly This is just colored, colored clay. And um, then I'm gonna maybe add some white under the eyes. So just like when we paint, we don't wanna have a whole paintbrush covered up to the handle. And when I'm done, I'm going to rinse my brush off. And we're going to um, put some glaze on there. And it's very important you don't get the bottom of it glazed because uh, this is basically glass in um, a suspension. So that it's glass in water. And as it heats up, it melts and creates that nice glassy shine to it. But if it melts down here, it will stick to the shelf of the kiln, and then when we pull it off, it will break your piece. We don't want to have that happen. So I'm going to wait for that eye to dry a little bit, but once it is dry, I'll put glaze over top of it. i just do the back right now. So yes, it looks pink, but it will dry, and it will look pink once it's dry, but it once it's fired it will look clear so I'm very careful not to get to the bottom of that Okay, looks like he's ready to be fired a second time, and he'll be nice and shiny now. Rinse that brush out, and we're done.